The apparatus for the penetration index is described in brief. The first comes the surface where we keep the bowl filled with grease for the experiment, along with the standard weight cone, the measurement needle and the dial to note the readings. The button is used to fix the cone so as to achieve minimum error. Now fill the bowl with grease. To ensure optimum amount of grease is filled in the bowl, follow the procedure as shown in the video. First of all, fill the bowl with extra amount of grease such that the amount exceeds the size of the bowl. Then use the handle to move the upper layer of the grease as shown. Now keep the plate in such a way that the tip of the cone coincides with the center of the bowl. Set the cone in such a way that the tip just touches the surface of the grease filled bowl. Now adjust the needle so that it just touches the rod containing the cone and also set the dial reading to zero as shown in the video. Now set the timer on the stopwatch to 5 seconds and press the button till the timer runs out. After timer stops, release the button and adjust the needle with the rod containing the code. Now note the reading in the dial. Repeat the experiment for the same grease after cleaning the apparatus and again notice the reading. If the reading remains almost similar to the previous ones, we can conclude that the grease is consistent. Also you can try this experiment for different types of grease and various brands of grease to find out which one is more consistent. Moving to flash and fire point. The apparatus shown here is Penske Martin Close Cup Apparatus. In the bottom, a dial is provided to control the temperature. On the top of the apparatus, the handle is used to remove the top cover for filling the lubricant. On the upper cover, starting from left are the compartment to fill kerosene for the flame, stirrer in the center with thermometer and a handle to open the lid to visualize the flash and fire point. Here the working of handle is shown. Also, the lubricant can be seen after removing the upper lid. The lubricant we have used for this experiment is diesel. To fix the apparatus back in its position, the container should be adjusted according to the grooves. Also, the upper lid can also be fixed by the grooves provided. Insert the thermometer in the lid. The working of the stirrer is shown in the video. Also the openings for the flame are shown. Now add adequate amount of kerosene in the vessel provided for the same. Using a fire source, ignite the kerosene as shown in the video and start the heater. Continuously stir the lubricant and keep noticing the liquid temperature after every 2 degree Celsius change in the temperature. Stirring of the liquid is done so as to uniformly heat the lubricant.
and as the temperature of lubricant rises, rotate the lid using the handle to check if the flash point is achieved. If not, continue the experiment and keep repeating the bow process after every 2 degrees Celsius change in the temperature. Temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius. The temperature has rised up to 48 degrees Celsius, but still no sign of a flash. The temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. The temperature being 57 degrees Celsius. Temperature is 62 degrees Celsius. If the amount of kerosene decreases, you can add the same again. Now the temperature is 68 degrees Celsius. You can notice the flash point achieved in this temperature range. When the flash point is achieved, the lubricant gives out a flash as shown previously. After the flash point is achieved, you will keep noticing flashes when you open the lid. Keep increasing the temperature. Also, if the temperature increases beyond a certain range, you can see the fire point. The fire point is a temperature at which the flame stands for exa exactly 5 or more seconds. Keep in mind that for the fire point, the fire should last at least 5 seconds. For this temperature, we have achieved fire point. We can conclude that for a lubricant, the flash and fire point should be higher so as to prevent any damage to the machine.